Hey guys, it says I'm live, which is great. Um, I'm looking at the quality. Just give me one second. I love how I'm just, you can see my skin so clearly because I feel that um, there are a couple things that need to be addressed because this is a beauty video and just trying to give you some information on how to defy aging and how to age gracefully. So I just wanted to combat anything that could be like when people say, well, she had on makeup or she, um, she's not natural. <laughs> so there are a few things I wanted to address top and foremost, which is there is no Botox on my head. Look, see, there's no Botox. There's no filler. There's no anything in my face at this time. I'm able to fully have creases and wrinkles. And so I just want to put that out first and foremost, because I do love to have a beautiful upgrade every now and then. And I only do it once a year at this time. I'm not saying that once a year is always going to work. I'm just saying that at this time I do some modifications and upgrades to my face once a year. And I have not done that yet. And so therefore I just wanted to say that first because I don't want someone to have explored my channel and say, well, she has Botox because at this time there's nothing going on on my face, in my face, on my face. I don't have any makeup on. I don't have any hair extensions. I don't have a wig on today. Everything is natural. And so therefore this is the best time, even though I'm vulnerable, this is the best time for me to address beauty secrets and tips that work for everyone. This is a non, I feel this is a neutral gender type video because a lot of my fans are males and the clarity. Okay. A lot of my fans are males and I just don't want you to skip this video because you're like, well, that has nothing to do with me. I'm addressing skin and hair and everything that's important for us to age gracefully. And this is for every gender. Okay. All right. So we're going to start off with the first thing and that's what you put in your body. And so I'm going to link these things. I pray that post this live, I can actually link because I actually had all of these links going on when I was going to live stream from my phone. But because we wanted this to actually reach a broader fan base with the clarity uh, and for you guys to really each see every pore in my skin, I wanted to do it from my camera. So therefore, uh, I wasn't able to link the items in this video now. But at this time in the description area, I do have an Amazon storefront where you can find most of these items in my storefront. And Amazon may be a little bit cheaper than what will be on the shop link attached to this video if I'm able to post this live stream, um, tag and put a shop for this video because I found every single item, which was beautiful. It was like 30 items. And then lo and behold, we decided to go more professional with this camera. So first things first is what you put in your body. Don't ever think that, that it goes the other way around. It doesn't. You can't do laser on your face. You can't get Botox. You can't do any of those things and not think that how you eat is not going to affect your look. Because to me, for me to do Botox once a year, I'm already defying my age demographic because most people that are into Botox, they actually are younger than me and they do it six times a year. And so I just wanted to put this information out because once you have reached your level of success on YouTube and people are actually watching you all around the world, they would like to know how you did it. So you do want your face to finally go back to wrinkling. You want all of this to happen because you want to see what's really going on with the surface. You want to see, you want to have a blank canvas for you to know, to know, okay, this is what I'm actually working with. And so to me, it does take a full year. This is if you have a really good doctor. So stay tuned for that. I actually will be making it to my doctor either the end of this month or next month. And you will see where I go. And I'm actually able to wait a year. So my, my, I would say my wrinkles come back. Probably you may see one in six months. And then every month I may see one more, but because I've let a whole year, it's probably been a year and a month go through. I have my four wrinkles here, uh, four lines, I should say, because God will, 
the reason why I do Botox is that I don't want to have wrinkles, right? So the four lines that could be are there, which I, I want to know. I want to know what I look like. The crow's feet, really not pronounced at all, um, especially when I'm speaking. I think that crow's feet are really when you can just see them and they're just evident just by looking at your face. So I don't have that. I have under eye and dents because I have severe allergies. So just in case you're like, you're not beautiful for, for my medicational standard, I am stunning <laughs> because it takes so much for someone with allergies like myself to even, um, to even just have a little bit of confidence because I'm blowing my nose constantly and I actually have an allergy attack at least once a week. So if for my allergy bays out there, I overstand. We just have to control how we rub our eyes. And I work on that every single day. So the pigmentation in my skin, I feel is somewhat smooth or, or, or I would say kind of okay because of, um, because of how old I am. I just feel like discoloration in your skin is just due to sun. It's just due to products you put on your face, products you don't put on your face, things you don't eat, things you do eat. So I feel for my age, my skin is just beautiful as far as complexion um, and the evenness. Uh, what else is important to address before we start putting good things in our body? Uh, and then you want to see your smile lines. So before you go putting filler, and then for those who, and this is no shun, I really am a very strong advocate of making yourself feel as confident as possible. But I just want to see what I look like when I smile without anything there. So just to know, hey, you know, I may have a line here, here, here. I, I want to see it. You know what I mean? So uh, there are treatments for under eyes, and I'll get into that if I'm able to do that with him this month or next month, but the Botox you will see. And then that under eye treatment, I just found out about it this year. So it just rejuvenates the cells. So this would just look younger and more youthful. And I feel like more times than not, this is a problem area for men and women. Allergies does not have a gender. Um, and so what else do I have issues with or things that I want to see? I want to see just everything. So we're going to get into some facial exercises, but that's after what you put in your body. So the first thing I like to put in my body when I remember is my ginkgo. And that's just for mental capability, mental everything. We just need to make sure that we are always remembering that this is a muscle inside of your skull and you want to feed it. You want to make sure that you're doing something special for your brain so that you can actually speak eloquently. You want to make sure that you're able to think about the things and projects you want to attain and address for your life. You want to make sure that you are as successful as you can be. So I don't really know if there's an age on ginkgo. I will say that if you're struggling with a kid or a child or a teenager that has a uh, issues with doing well in school, I would say just try it. So what I do now, I used to just put it in my drink because it doesn't taste good. And because I'm not sharing this, I'm actually just going to drop a drop on my tongue and I let my tongue absorb this information. <laughs> so I don't do a lot. This is absolutely so strong. It makes you not even want to take it. It does taste like medicine, but, um, ginkgo is just so good, especially because we know how look at all the things that are coming out uh just in case you just wanted to know what it can help prevent you can see now someone that is prevalent on social media and or television is wendy williams things like that you're just stretching it out because some things are inevitable we cannot avoid but if you just do some type of tactics to just make sure you just stretch it out as long as possible that's what i feel is important first okay so now my mental capacity, now I'm just going to be a little bit brighter, you know, than I naturally would have been possibly, right? Because I'm not a scientist, but I am something, right? So then we have what we put in our bodies. And so berries are a natural exfoliant. And so if they tell you to put these things in your hair, on your skin, what is the best thing? Put it inside of your body. So I'm going to eat, I think I have three strawberries here. And what I feed you, what I feed myself is what I feed my family. Okay. So, mm -hmm.
so fresh. So I do want to tell you the recipe for strawberries. Soak them in filtered water and salt or soak them in filtered water and vinegar. It just depends on your preference. So both of those remedies and recipes will help stretch your the life of your strawberry in your refrigerator. And also it will help remove any like dirt, bacteria, germs, anything that may be surviving in your strawberry that won't necessarily be good for your body. I do that for the grapes as well. So because we only have strawberry grapes and bananas, that's all I'll get into today. If you are a Patreon member, which is C-H-A-N-Y-A-T-H-E-B-O-D-Y.com, you know how I get down. You know how I clean my fruit. You know how I clean my food. You know what's up. So thank you for being a Patreon member for all of those who are on Patreon and you're here in this live stream. So grapes, just good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was watching a Sideman video and one of their challenges was, I know if y'all watch Sideman, then you know what I'm talking about because I think it aired last week. That's why make sure to click my notification bell so that you're like on par, you're on point with everything because I'm on point with Sideman. So last week's upload was like they had to, to say how many grapes they can do in like 30 seconds or something. It was good. It was funny. Mm hmm. Yeah. So now I personally know that I only need like three to four bites to get one grape down. Try yourself. Tell me in the comments how many bites does it take you to get a grape down? Mm hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Woo. So good. I'm so excited. I already feel the freshness. I was starving before I went live. So everything now I feel better. My equilibrium's on par. The ginkgo help. I feel so much better. I'm about to like smile a little bit more. I don't think I was smiling when I started this live. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. I was hungry. Mm-hmm. Woo. Stay tuned for next week's video. I'm doing a mukbang with my family. Mm-hmm. Because I don't want y'all to always know what my live streams are going to entail. Y'all getting, getting too stush and bougie on here. Listen, I'm not going to always be working out on live, okay? I'm going to mix it up. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to mix it up. These things are juicy my choke. Mmm. Mmm. I even like that you can see the, the indentation here because guess what? You ain't there isn't gonna be one line in my face. Nothing is gonna fold when I get my Botox. So enjoy. Enjoy all of that right now. But um, you can't be cheap when it comes to Botox. Get the top tier, and you need to go to a medical doctor. I would say go to a medical doctor. I'm not shunning on spas, but when it comes to knowing something, like now I personally, professionally know that I can actually, this Botox can really legit last a whole year. I'm not going to be playing with y'all. <laughs> I'm not going to be sitting here getting no kitty cat Botox. I have to get the good stuff. The stuff that lasts a whole year, stop playing with me. So... Click your notification bell because I do not know when I'm going to his office. He actually has to call me because they actually have a beauty day where you save like 10%. 10% is good. Stop. Hello. But I'm so thankful that God reminded me to do this because it would not have been effective if I did this after my Botox. I don't think that a beauty video should be stiff face. I can't move my forehead now. A beauty video needs to be, boom, this is what I look like. There's nothing going on. This is all. I can still wrinkleize my face, period. All right, let's finish these. These are big. Ready? And I don't want to bite them with my front teeth because then I know something's going to stick in my teeth. Mm-hmm. Percolator. One time for the percolator. Who can do that? Who can do this? 
I'm the best. <laughs> See, I told you, I got the giggles now. So your bananas for your potassium, this is for your bones, this is for the, this is like the milk for your bones. And if you don't believe me, if you don't like bananas, you need to start thinking about aging, okay? Everyone is going to get older. I'm so sorry. I know that you forgot. When I was like 12 years old, 18 years old, you know, we don't really gracefully look at older people. We're like, ew, they old. I'm on set. And mind you, listen, baby dolls, if you're not paying attention, your girl's on set with people 21 years old. I'm on set with people 21 years old. And I'm sorry, my baby, I got chosen. Um, I just did a video with Nick Yardy collaborating with him. And baby, your girl was chosen. You hear me? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yay! She get chosen. So, and I'm going to be honest with y'all. The guy was probably like 21 years old. And that is because you are what you eat. <laughs> so, it's just so important for us to have a template as to how to age gracefully and to see someone like myself, because I can keep waiting because I'd be waiting to age. I'm like, listen, I'm going to do a video when I'm 50. I'm going to do a video when I'm 45 because I'm like trying to wait until it makes sense. But it makes sense now. I'm on set right now with people 20 years younger than me right now today. So why do I keep prolonging these videos? Y'all need to know right now because everyone is aging and we're aging quicker, not me, because of what they're putting in the food, because of the contamination in the air. I just spoke to someone and they didn't know what the ozone layer was. The ozone layer is, has been being destructed for years. So now you got the sun permeating deeper than it ever used to. All of these things are aging people now quicker than ever before. So y'all need the information today, not yesterday, today. And I'm going to give it to you. Mm -hmm. Watch this whole video, the whole video, not just a little bit. Watch the whole video. I got some stuff. Okay. So I can keep eating until I have to go to the bathroom or I can stop. Oh, I love that I can see my lines. Okay. So now, now let's get into, now we know, first and foremost, what you put in your body is evidently what's going to be the outcome of what you look like, okay? And I know it sounds bad because everyone's like, I just had fried chicken. It's okay. There's grace. There's a thing called grace in life and you still have the opportunity to glow up. So in this video, guys, my name is Shania Middleton from Shania Forever, and we are going to talk about how to defy aging, okay? Um, today, I'm going to show you some beauty secrets about hair, nails, and um, that's why I don't have any nail buds on. And that's why I have my natural hair out. That's why I have no makeup on, because I'm going to go over some natural buds and tips for everyone in this world, okay? Okay. I'm noticing that even younger people now are dealing with hair loss. They're dealing with uh, um, not just hair loss, but thinning hair. And so we're going to go over some regimens that help tackle that. Okay. And they're real. It works. It works. Sometimes you just have to know. I did a big chop on my hair. My hair was this length last year. So I'm able to tell you something. Um, and I have proof that video will go up maybe at the end of this year. Whenever I need to edit a video, I'll put it up. And then also, um, we're going to go over makeup that I find is okay for your skin, especially in hot climates, because right now we are in spring. And so spring break is coming up, and a lot of spring breakers watch me. And also, we're going into summer. So all of the men and women and children that, because it won't be children wearing makeup, but to me... Women wear makeup just to beautify themselves because you will see the way I look at the end of this video. And you're going to be like, oh, she's a winner. Chicken dinner. So that is why 
most people wear makeup. It is just to accent our beauty. It's not going to change the way you look. It just actually brings everything into sight. Do you get what I'm saying? All right. So first things first, let's get into this aloe. So aloe, if you got an aloe tree, great. I saw some on Amazon. And so therefore I will put them in my Amazon link if it's not there already. And you're going to use it on your cuticles. Let's start with the cuticles first. You're going to use it on your cuticles, right? Because your hands should not be dirty, right? I just ate some fruit. What's, what's so bad about that? So this is the first thing you're going to do. Some people are like, ew, look at that. It's gooey. That's good. You want that goo? We can now moisturize that goo into our nail beds and our nails. And I'm so happy. I'm not going to wash my hands. This video should be at least an hour. I'm not going to wash my hands for about an hour. So that would have penetrated. Ooh, that's what she said. That would have penetrated into my nail beds and my nails for at least an hour. Now, second thing is just remember this now. You don't want to go, hey, I'm going to put ILO in and you just go straight and wash your hands. That's not what you want to do. And you also don't want to put your fingers in your mouth because then you're going to be mad at me. Okay? And now let's go under our eyes, right? My face is clean. Well, let me do, let me do something with you because rose water is for men as well. I just don't want this to be a beauty video and then beauty, beauty just be stereotypical for women to watch this video. Rose water is very good for your face, your skin, and your hair. Okay. Your scalp, I should say. So please and thank you. Do not, this is, this is pretty much done. I don't know what's going to come on my face. That's what she said. But this is what is in my Amazon link. Do not hesitate to buy it. That link is in the description. So I just used one of these pads here because she's cute and spray it on my face first. Ooh. Oh gosh. Ow. And then here, all right? Now it's on the cloth and on my face. So anything, any dirt that was underlying, because, you know, we can't see everything. I don't have no microscope right now. But I like that this pad is not dirty, because just in case y'all was like, no, she has on a tent, a hue. She can't be that pretty. <laughs> my face was clean. All right, so let's go now with this aloe, okay? So this aloe is going to tighten and firm your skin, all right? So do not put it in your mouth. You're going to be mad at me, and you're going to be like, you know what? She's so freaking dumb. <laughs> Don't you come for me. No, I'm just kidding. So I'm just going to make sure that goo is on my fingertips because you just want to be delicate with your face. And this is delicate. Being delicate with your face is not an age. It is just wise. I don't care if you are two years old. You need to be rubbing your face smoothly. So I'm just making sure that this goo is on my fingertips because I want to go over my face softly and delicately. So if you don't have time to do this, you need to wait until you have time because I don't want you sitting here because it dries quickly. So if you're in an environment where this aloe just totally dried as soon as you put it on, like one side of my face, one side is like drying so quickly. Ow! Then, ow! Then just take, just wait. Wait till you get home. Don't, you know, you just got to skip this part until you get home. So you see that it's going on my eyebrows, right? My little thick old eyebrows. <laughs> That's what she said. And now I'm going to pat it in. Pat it in. This does not have any type of residue. That's if you got that good aloe. No, I'm just kidding. Pat it in. Oh, how you doing, Joseph? Pat it in. Oh, she cute or whatever. Supple skin. Look, see it's a little tacky. It's a little tacky. She tacky. All right, that's what you want. So we're not gonna leave it there. What you thought? This this video costs a little bit of money now. You can because you want to buy all of these products. <laughs> all right. So the next thing we're gonna do. My beauty regimen now. Now, mind you, it may change. Somebody may come up with something else that's age-defying, and I may be like, oh, my God, guys. But right now, for this whole last year, I have been using Lanco. And the thing is, the price point on these are a little bit expensive, not a lot of it. It went down because one of my products used to be super high, and I saw it for like $34. Thank God for that. But 
I'm going to be honest with you, it has lasted me all year. And I know that may not be good. You may not need to keep a product that long, but I refrigerate mine. And so I've been able to use these products from Lancome all year long. And that's on period I, period up. Okay, so I have these under eye patches. We're not, I kind of got to use it because it does bring some type of like volume back under my eye. I just don't want to because look at, I'm out. I'm out. These are in my Amazon link. They're like gold. I can't. I'll, I only have what? I only have two more. No, I'm not. I'm not, guys. I'm not using it because I'm going to have a photo shoot this week and I'm going to be pissed that I use this. And I think I know who's dabbling in this because I really showed them a secret last week and now I have two left. Okay. Got to order as soon as I finish this live stream. So as you can see, I'm not playing about these products. I actually use them all the time. So this is my under eye. For my land cup, you have to do extra steps. And like I said, you can take time and do this when you have time. Some people know, they're like, oh my God, bitch. Like I, I look 30 years younger than I did last year. I'm doing this every single morning. Some people not, don't play. And I'm not, I do have to talk about this because I was just on set. I was on a movie set last, two weeks ago. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. Can I be honest? Ooh, this is going to hit deep. It's going to hit the core. But I think that melanin, I don't know if it just, it just holds a little bit. I don't know. Oh, God. But I'm just telling you guys, if you don't have melanin, you need to do this every day. I was on set and we were in a scene. And so the scene cost for like 80 people. And I'm going to be honest with you, the non-melanated people needed to have all of these products going on every day, every day. I pray they watch my video because the truth of the matter is it's okay that you're leaner. It's just so weird because my demographic was like a little bit bigger. You know what I mean? Like we made, we weighed maybe 10 or 20, 30, me 40 more pounds than everybody else. But it's like yin and yang because that demographic was leaner and longer and slimmer and taller, but the aging was so evident. It was almost eyeball. It was eye boggling to me. I'm like, Oh my God, I just saw you on a Sears cover, but in person you look 70, you know? So this is no shade. This is actually showing you a template as to how you can combat that because Outside of putting good stuff in your body, you cannot do the other stuff. You can't party. You can't be around smoking. You can't, you can't drink. And I say cannot because this video is about aging backwards. This video is about defying age. So you cannot tangle with things that actually push your aging forward. So we all know that smoke makes you look older. You can, if you don't believe me, I'm not going to say try it, but you can just pay attention. Someone that started smoking one year later, they look way older. Okay. But you can always fix things. That's the thing about life. Thank God for life because we can actually always go back and say, you know what? I'm not going to smoke this year. Let me just try out this regimen that she said. And you're going to be like, bitch, I am so fucking beautiful. Trust me, men and women. Um, and then on top of that, we have the drinking and I know that people think that drinking is cool. It's cool. I've had that life. So I can't really say anything about it. Cause I'm like, I, you know, I did that, been there, done that, but we all have to remember everything in, in, everything like in modification, everything we have to control what we're doing because if you don't control it, then there's no control. Okay. Just remember that you have to put things under control or there is no control. All right. Yeah, I hope that made sense to you. Maybe not. So I'm not shunning on anyone. I actually lived a life. My life was absolutely generous to me. And to me, that's why watching this video is, is paramount. And if you don't know my history, I actually started off, I used to be a pageant girl. 
And then my mom put me in John Casablanca. If you're familiar, if you're in Florida or wherever state they were, you know about John Casablanca. And it paid off because for some reason, I just took all of their information and um, became a model in Miami. And I was like, I'm the girl from the Tyrese video, why you want to act like that? I'm the girl from the De La Soul shopping bags. I'm the girl from the Mr. Cheeks turn around and lights, camera, action. My resume is so long that it's ridiculous. And so in current events, because the music video market went down so low or so bad that um, the only thing that I could do that made any sense was movies. And so... Um, the latest project, well, no, Argro Drift, I did that last year. And that is a futuristic film. And um, you got to be into, because Harmony Corinne is the director and he's very, like, he's a super genius. And so his depiction on the future of movies is infrared. And so that movie is an in infrared and I am the wife of the main character. And so Argro Drift is out now. And then if you want to watch something, on Netflix, I'm also in, um, uh, what is it called? Drunk Love? No. Bum, Beach Bum. Beach Bum with Matthew McConaughey and Snoop Dogg. So you know if those are my co-stars, then um, that was an actual thrill to be a part of. So just to get to understand why I'm able to make a video like this and why it's justified is because I'm actually in the industry and I'm actually able to have co-stars that are 20 years younger than me. And that's not sometimes, that's all the time. So these are some of the products we're going to put on our face. And I'm going to start out with, this is a Lancome thing for your eyelashes and for your eyebrows. And it just aids with the growth. So it looks kind of funny. And if you're a man, a lot of men don't know it, but because you guys don't wear makeup, these little things like this, like twerking your eyebrows, making sure they're thick, and also making sure your eyelashes have volume, this is all y'all can really do. So y'all need to do it. This is all y'all can do. So this is a Lancome product. It's called Jennifernique. Okay, let's go with that. And um, it just makes sure that the health of your lashes and your eyebrows are being taken care of. So it's like a, a cream. And it's so important to do these little steps. And if you're a man, this is quick and easy. It just rubs into your, your hair, into your face. So you're not, you're not like, oh, shit, I can't do all of this. It's simple, simple, simple. And the thing that they give you at the tip it just makes it easy to roll on. I thought this was ingenious. And Lancome kind of gets sleep on. It doesn't get slept on with the with the um the women of money. The women of the money, they have never left Lancome. They've always used Lancome and they still use Lancome. And that's why Lancome is able to keep moving forward with their beauty products because they have a high saturated quality of clients. Do you understand the clients that always buy their products? And that's very important. So this one is a activated youth activating concentrate. And to me, everyone is getting into serums. You need to get into this serum. Okay. You need to get into the Lancome serum. I'm sure you're using a serum, but do you look 20 years younger? And I put it everywhere because I want to put it on my chin. I actually have been forgetting my chin today. And I feel like my chin is very nice. I feel like my chin and my neck are still holding holding on really nice. Even my, my decator, is this how you say? I think it's holding on really nice, right? There's no, you don't really see any aging going on here. I think that this is a giving thing as well, especially when you lose weight. I think that when women go like this and they lean forward, sometimes they have wrinkles. There is no reason to not start this regimen. You can put that in reverse. And sometimes you just got to believe someone. If you start putting that aloe in your decator, that's how you say it and then you're using the age-defying from Lancome, 
you will start to see a, a beautiful, beautiful result. But consistency is the key. I can't come on here and try to be a motivational influencer and be like, oh, I'm, I worked out once. No, I worked out five days a week. And also I did all this. You know what I mean? Okay. So this is the last step for my face. This, this looks like a lot, but it's not, especially if you just want to do it once a week, all of this stuff, do it once a week so that you really have this product forever. Cool. Cool. I'm not trying to stress you to say, hey, you got to do this every day. No, I'm just saying, please do this. Please do this. Please try this out. And with the aloe, putting it all over your face, just know that you want to make sure as a, as a person that does not want facial hair, that you go in and you shave a little bit because you're going to be pissed because that aloe will grow your hair. You understand me? It's going to grow it, period. But this is a company that has been around before we were born, okay? And they're still going to be here because they're really good. I even give this to my children um, because the price is going up crazily. The price has tripled on oil, um, oil Olay products. I don't even think they have oil anymore. It used, they used to be called Oil of Olay, if you're familiar with this company. And now they're just called Olay Complete. I don't know if that oil got them in trouble. I have no idea. Tell the history in the comments. Let me know the history of this in the comments. So we have Cedric that said, hello, gorgeous Cedric. Thank you so much. God bless you. You didn't have to say that. I know that's right. I would choose you too. Thank you, Cedric. Um, Leonardo, Hey. And then we have Joseph saying, hello, gorgeous. Hello. Good morning. And then we have Michael Mishani. You are stunning. Michael, you are the best. Okay. Uh, so is everyone. I'm sorry. I just isolated him because he has been um, very strong and keeping me uplifted on social media on every handle in the world, even my Patreon. So I just, some people you just have to recognize, you know what I mean? So Olay Complete is a product that I'm telling you, men, please do not skip on this because we wonder why y'all are really crazy about women. Think about it. I mean, y'all get heated about women. Y'all like, oh my gosh, she making my groins oin. You know, she making my groins loins. Be and and y'all don't do that for us. It's because y'all not doing all of this. You know what I mean? You, none of like, you're, you're not making me weak in the knees. You're not nothing. And I'm not just speaking about myself. I'm just want you guys to know you're going crazy over that woman. You're fascinated about her because she's doing all these goddamn steps. So when you see her, you're just like, God dang, there's something about her. I just can't put my fucking hand on it. But God dang it, I want to get to know her. And that is the same feeling that women need to feel about you or whatever gender you want to attract, they need to feel the same way about you. And they will, because that apple, that um, aloe is going to have your skin supple and ready, ready to put whatever you're going to put on it, it's going to be ready. And then you're going to end your steps with this olive olay. Damn, it's not called olive olay anymore. It's called olay. Olay complete. Look how much I use it. Like, God dang. And this OLED Complete has SPF, but not too much. Because what we don't know is that the higher the SPF, the it's it's probably more prone to clog your pores. I don't mind putting SPF 50 on my shoulders. And I got to be careful with that because I may get a bump or two on my arm because I got too much SPF on. We're so, we know how harmful the, the, the sun rays are. But I, if you see me in public, you're not going to, you won't even see me in public because I have a hat on, I got on sunglasses. I know I still need to protect my dermis because the sun is sunny. I live in Miami, guys. The sun is sunny. I would absolutely like a raisin if I didn't have, if I didn't wear hats and sunglasses most times, okay? If I'm filming, I cannot wear all of that. But trust me, I did all of this to get to this. So the Olive Olay has SPS 15, which I feel is safer for the skin. You do want to go, if you're, if you're, not melanated. Yeah. You may be like, girl, I burn. I have to go higher. Well, hopefully your skin isn't oily. I actually hold a little bit of oil. So therefore the higher my SPF, the more I may get a bump. So you definitely want to be generous with this and you want to get it on your chin and on your decatur. Okay. This SPF, you want to put it on your lips. Do not ever think that your lips don't need lotions. Your lips need lotion. They need it. These lips are like, ooh, right? Your lips are looking like chapsticks. Okay, so 
all of this. And then the more is better. I'm just not going to go crazy because to me, you know, you get the point. And so now let's get into how I accent my beauty. How does she go on camera and be like, <gasps> you know what I mean? Because look, I'm just, I'm just praising myself right now because I should. So how do I do that? I just actually put on a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So before you put on anything that you're putting to enhance your face, you need primer. My primer has been in my makeup bag, so it doesn't look brown when you buy it. So don't be like, but well, mine don't look like yours. This is dirty, <laughs> but it's almost done. So pray for me. I need to go makeup shopping. So you put your primer on first. Number one, that protects your skin, right? I'm going to say Neutrogena for the win. But there are some that people are hyped about. But I'm not a TikTok follower. You're not going to see me going crazy over something on TikTok. I actually sample shit out and then I, you know, present it in front of you. This primer has not let me down. I went, I go on movie sets. I do workout videos and my makeup sits on my face. Okay. So primer, this, man, this is not for you unless you wear makeup. Okay. And I wanted to give some advice to men because men, remember how I told you, you want, you want women to drop their, their, their draws for you. Okay. They have something called, and it's not new. This is something old. It's just that they don't market it. Um, it is called, um, tattoo makeup. So I would say, even myself, when I have the time, right? Because this year I can't do it. Um, I don't know what year I'm going to do it. But of course, if you click the notification bell, you will know. Unless some tattoo artist out there just wants to be generous. Um, but there's something called makeup tattoo. And so because men are not going to sit here and put on concealer and primer. And no, you're not. So because that's not what you're going to do. If you have discoloration, look at this shit. I look crazy. Let me here put my makeup on. Y'all gonna leave the channel. Because you actually um, do and may have discoloration in your skin, like on your nose, um, under your eyes, they have something called makeup tattoo. And so you just go ahead and do that. You get your makeup, your tattoos done, right? Which is masculine too. And you don't have that issue anymore. So for women out there, if you have that money, because you know they do the makeup on the lips. Y'all know that, right? They already share that. They do the blush of the lips and all that stuff. But you can go on and get your whole face done, <laughs> women. You can go and get your whole face done with the makeup tattooing so that you're not sitting here doing this all the time. Because sometimes we're like, yeah, but she's so pretty naturally. That lady has tattoo makeup on. She's not stupid. She's a millionaire. She knows that she don't want to sit here and she knows she wants to live stream and she knows that she's older and she, she has to make her money and she wants to go to set and she don't want to miss the casting and she just, or she's a doctor and she knows that she's on call and she knows that she's not always going to be putting makeup on and it's silly and it can, you know, it clogs your pores. And so she, can afford to do her, her makeup tattoo and her tattoo makeup. And so trust me, you got to know, I am definitely going to get into that, but I'm not, I don't have, I don't have it now. Okay. So right now we're buying products and we're putting it on our face. And do I think that that's the best? Absolutely not. I don't advocate for makeup, but I do know that if you're trying and if you are an influencer or online creator, this is very important because I know men don't know this, but your favorite people, they have on a cake of makeup and it's just natural makeup. I hear my phone, but I don't see it. Where do we put it, y'all? Oh, there. Well, where is it? Because I hear it. I hear my phone, guys. It's beeping and everything. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Thanks. I hear my phone. I know you lie. <laughs> so, oh, okay, okay. So, yes. So, I cannot wait to be one of the people in life that have tattoo makeup. And, of course, I won't be doing makeup tutorials because it, it, I'll be done. Makeup done. 
These are all MAC products. I do believe in MAC products. MAC has been on the market a little bit longer than uh, almost everything. And you can see that I'm out. Your girl has to go makeup shopping. And so if this part of the video bothers you because it has nothing to do with beauty um, to you, then please just follow the steps of the beginning of this video. The beginning of this video was what you wanted to learn. This is a part of the, the, baby, the babies and the baddies. This is for the baddies. This portion here. Because a baddie wants to look good before she comes out the house every day. Every day. Not some days. Every day. You should feel like, guys, I can't go pick up my kids if I don't do something. I got to do something. Even and if my hair is in cornrows because I'm wearing my wig, I got to put a hat on or something. I have to do something. I'm just not. Because I remember a time in my life. Because my, my children are Irish twins, the older ones. And I remember a time in my life where I was so fucking gone. I was gone. Like, I did not even consider what I look like because every day was diapers, making meals, making bottles, breastfeeding, doing laundry, cleaning the house, working out. And I swear I was looking, I had blurry vision because I was so just baby brain, okay? And all I would do for myself is just work out systematically. And I was in a relationship, so I would do that too, if you know what I mean. So, I, of course, I just, I just remember when I would have to go places, I just would look like slop. And I would always say, well, my kids look good, so it doesn't matter what I look like. Bitch, you better grow up, Okay. You better grow up and get a belt and, and beat your own butt because the truth of the matter is all of this matters. Why was I even thinking that way? So let me tell you what somebody told me two weeks ago. They said the most pivotal thing. My mom whipped me into shape because I live so far from her that she really wasn't around me that much when I had my children, my first set of kids. And so when she would come by, thank God my mom is so... <clears throat> Okay. She's serious because she would be, she would be like, okay, let's go here. She would come to the door. I would have on sweats. Like, are you kidding me right now? And so what somebody told me was that my mom felt how I feel about my kids. How fucking smart was that? I never, ever, ever thought about that. I think my husband told me this. He was like, yeah, if you were like, my kids look great. So I don't even have to look that good. That's how your mom felt when she came to pick you up. So I was, she wanted me to look good. Do you get what I'm saying? So I was like, oh my gosh, thank you for saying that because I just never knew. I just thought my mom was like, uh, uh, you know what I mean? So it makes sense because that's exactly how I feel about them. I'm like, uh, uh, you need to, where you going? You know what I mean? Do your hair, do this, do that. Well, I don't have to say that to my older kids. Asha's saying, Asha's going to tell me at this point. She's like, no, I don't like my hair. I don't like my clothes. And then Oh my gosh, I posted a video with my daughter and I was marketing an Amazon beige outfit. And I have to say this because you don't see the comment because you know I don't play that shit. This is, don't play with me. But somebody was like, um, so why you look so good and your daughter has on like pajamas? Yo, I almost like did a backflip, all right? Because the truth of the matter is, don't ever talk about somebody's kids ever, 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 ever right? Not online, like calm down. They don't have like happy fingers. You can say whatever you want to say in your head. You can say it to your family, whatever, whatever. But just watch yourself, right? Just be careful. You know what I mean? So anyways, so I'm like, yo, they have no idea. Like we actually let our children have creativity. So if this is exactly what she picked out to wear to school. So she felt good. She looked good to me and her. And that's what she had on. We were going to my son's basketball game. And I and I was like to myself, if they thought that I had glamified myself, they didn't even pay attention to the video. The video was actually marketing an Amazon outfit that I was gifted so that I could market for that company. I actually market for companies at this time. So I was like, oh, my gosh. 
Jesus take the wheel <laughs> because woo, you know what I mean? That's like somebody talking about your mama. You know what I'm saying? Woo, you got to be careful out here. So, um, so that that took a minute for me to blend it in so that I just because I don't have that much product, don't have that much foundation, which is really good. Um, at this time, I'm happy because I don't want to be sitting on here with a cake face. And then the concealers, to me, I have enough on. So now we're going to set it into my face. But let me put on some eyeshadows. And again, I'm converting back to Lancome. And then Pat McGrath is the one with the colors. Do you hear me? Pat McGrath has the colors. And then I found out that Pat McGrath is now affiliated with MAC or may have always been affiliated with MAC. So I'm going to put some gold highlight here. And you guys will get to see, because the thumbnail now has my bare face, bare hair. But um, the thumbnail that I'm going to post once this live is up is going to have me all made up. Because I just want people to see what uh, natural beauty could end up looking like. Because the truth of the matter is, if your canvas ain't canvassing, it's not going to go right. It, you know, you got to work on the canvas. Okay, so I'm not doing much because y'all won't even believe this. But after this video, I just got to go work out. <laughs> so I'm actually after this video, because to me, like I told you, I don't even know if I'm going to go do my face stuff tomorrow. I don't know when it was going to happen, but I do know that I had to give you guys a live video today. And I just didn't want to always do the same cliche working out videos. I just don't want to. And so um, although those videos do well, I need you guys to also have the fruits of how to take care of yourself. How to take care of yourself. How do I have such a dynamic, awesome uh, family on here? Growing subscribers. Subscribers are growing every single day. And not take care of y'all. I have to take care of you guys. And the first way to take care of somebody is let them know how to take care of themselves. So I'm going to contour. So you're going to be like, oh, my God, what's she doing? Because it's true. What, what am I doing? Right? But this is just a dark color so that you can give that whole look. Okay? The cinch cheeks. Okay? What's this? Okay. So take care of yourself, guys. I was just on a movie set. And I'm sorry, because the information is going to get out. But one of the lead actors, I'm like, oh, my God. I wish I knew him personally. I wish I, I knew him because I would have been working out with him. I would We would have been working out. So, therefore, if we would have been working out together, this would not be your, situ your current situation. And that's just because mobility is so fucking important, guys. If you're not moving your body, your body will start constricting itself. I promise I'm not holding you back. Why would I hold you back? Where, who's going to watch my channel if I hold y'all back? If I don't tell you guys evidently what is free, what you can do now, how you can you know, help yourself, who is going to watch my channel if y'all not here? If y'all not here, y'all not taking care of yourself? Because what's gonna? you can't watch me in, um, if I'm not mistaken, you cannot watch YouTube in the hospital. You can watch it on your phone. But if you're in that situation where you're in the hospital, I'm very sure you're not going to be worried about no goddamn YouTube. So I got to help y'all out now before anything happens. Before anything happens, just like your relationships. Take care of your relationship now before anything happens. So this is just so that I don't look so tired. It's just a white line that goes in your eye. It's just a white line that goes in your eye. So, God give me the flow. Oh, oh, yeah. This lip combo is a killer. And so, for the baddies that are watching me, and baddie is any age. Guys, I have people 80 years old that watch me. I have people 70 years old that watch me. I have people 20 years old that watch me. And then, for some reason, I don't know why these kids are watching me, but they are. So I just got to be careful because I'm so talented. <laughs> so I don't know why these kids are watching me, but they're watching me. Okay. So let's go in order. I'm going to put some of this Lancome. We're going back to Lancome as if they are the sponsor of this video. I pray to God they do become one one day because Lord knows I would love to be on a sponsored trip somewhere in the name of Jesus. Amen. So this is a set from Lancome, and I feel like don't 
don't not get the set. Do not not get this white stuff because the white stuff extends your lashes. Okay. And I think it's a little healthy, if I'm not mistaken. So I do it on my eyebrows because you know I don't have much. But I have enough. I have enough to get you. You know what I'm saying? Wheel you in, you know, and keep you. So don't ever fret when you're like, oh, but I don't have my uh, child. All you got to do is enhance it. Put some mascaras on it. Put the white mascaras and then the black mascara and then boom, you in a relationship, girl. Calm down. Stop being jealous of your friends. <laughs> people want to know that people want to know like the recipe. The recipe is this girl take care of herself. That's the recipe. That's it. Y'all needed the ingredients. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna give you a prime example of someone that takes care of themselves. She takes care of herself from the bottom to the top. I wouldn't be shocked if we find out that she sleeps inside of a chamber at night. And that to me would be smart. If you don't have anything, any problem with claustrophobia like me, sleeping in a chamber sounds smart. So I don't wanna say it, but I gotta say it. But Kim Kardashian to me is the leader of taking care of yourself. And then the person who does not televise or or just is not in your face with them taking care of themselves to me is j-lo guys j-lo could be a hundred years old she's still gonna look as good as she looks today y'all gotta trust and believe me you gotta trust and believe me she is going to look this way at a hundred years old she may sleep in a hypodermic chamber we have got to understand stuff J-Lo, God dang. I think J-Lo, of every woman who is prevalent and prominent in the industry, she takes care of herself to the best. Because I know she's older than Kim Kardashian. Because I think Kim looks younger than her. But J-Lo is older than her. And I'm sorry. I think that J-Lo is a little bit more attractive. I feel like Kim is sexier. And J-Lo is more attractive. And so it's a difference between sexy, attractive, and beautiful, right? Because to me, when I'm sitting here and you don't see my body, I'm cute, beautiful. I'm beautiful. But when I stand up, oh my God, bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? I done took over the building. So it's a difference. And I just don't want to live my life knowing that I could have been aging backwards just like these women if I just would have cared. You get what I'm saying? If I just would have cared. If I just would have effing cared. Do you see how long my lashes are right here? Like, shut the microphone. Shut your microphone up. That's crazy. That's crazy. Girl... So, not me trying to show off. So, men, when I told you that this is good for your lashes, y'all got to trust me because the truth of the matter is it, you guys are not wearing mascara, but we still see lashes. Lashes just, it's men's eyebrows, their lashes, and their upkeep of the facial hair or non thereof. That's why we look at y'all. And then the maintenance of the hair. Is your hair taped? Do you have long hair? Is it, you know, is it not dry? Is your skin supple? Oh my God, we just want to faint and fall out. I'm, I'm not kidding. And that's when you get the women saying, oh, I want to have his baby. Period. Period. That phrase has not gone away. It's just that women don't say that as much because we are on the height of beauty and y'all just laggering like, I do it when I can. No, you need to do it now. You looking dry. You know? You looking real dry. You know? Period. Period. All the men that I know that are in the beauty industry, their skin is supple, Lips moist. Eyebrows laid. Woo! Cha. Oh my God. And then you wonder why women hang around men that don't 
like women is because they are so beautiful. <laughs> we be like, oh my God. You are, and then, you know, they don't like us, but we're like, you are freaking gorgeous. You're gorgeous. With an S. Okay. All right. So, anywho, I'm still going to put on lashes because I just need to show y'all everything I have on my Amazon link. And then I just want to be stunning to myself. But we could see, if I was a teenager... When I was casting for all my music videos back in the days, I actually never wore lash extensions. So now you could see how I looked when I would go to those castings. And I'll show you how I took over. Because there's no lie. There's no cap. One day, they did a documentary of myself, Nicole Rika, and like Melissa Ford and maybe some other girls. Um, but those are the two that I know. They did a documentary of us where they followed us around. And I swear, I thought it was going to be on BET. And I don't know what happened because we even got a percentage. Now, the percentage was stupid low. Maybe that's why I didn't work because they actually disrespected on the percentage of what we were supposed to make. But that documentary did not come out. But, honey, they're going to have to see your girl one day because, ooh, they be trying to hide me. Like I was not the number one. I am the most, I'm the number one woman to be, to be in music videos in Florida. There's no one that was in music videos more than me in Florida. And that's on period, I period up. So if you saw me in the video, if you didn't see me, it doesn't matter. I got paid. Sometimes I used to be late. Sometimes I used to be late. Sometimes I used to be late. Let's not talk about it. Um, all of Trick Daddy's videos, Drow in the Wind, I'm in that, I'm on skates. Um, Trick Daddy Love the Kids, I'm in that. Um, I'm in Candy Sugar with uh, with Little Kim. Um, I'm just in a lot of videos. And so those are not talked about because music videos are not prevalent anymore. They still have music videos, but to me, artists today, I need to wipe my hands. Artists today are now mostly the video. Like to me, the artists today, they can just be the whole music video. Like that Cardi B video that just came out, she don't need nobody in her video. She's the whole video. She don't need no girl in that video. She is the video. And if y'all didn't see it, y'all didn't see it. The girl is serving looks, body, charm, style, lyrics, fashions. I'll be damned if another girl was in that video. Because why are you here? <laughs> why is you in this video? So let's go on to completing my brows. Um, and yeah, back in the days, if I was in a music video with another girl, you really didn't see me in the video. And that made sense. Like, what you showing me for? I'm in the video with Olivia. I don't know if y'all remember Olivia, but she was stunning. Everybody used to think I used to look like her, but of course I'm the darker version of her, I feel. Um, uh, I would be in a video with Remy Ma. Oh, that video was funny. I knew they were not going to show me in that video because you know, because two chocolate girls. I know y'all don't know about that, but they're just not going to, they're not just not going to do that. So um, that Remy Ma video, I look really nice. Oh, I looked okay. I had a ponytail. Um, so who, who cares if you didn't see me? I didn't look that good to me, to me, to me, cut me some slack. But of course I got to meet the whole terror squad crew. Um, that's maybe like the third time I met fat Joe. Um, I did a music video with fat Joe where he's my, you know, he's my little boo. Um, damn, it's with little John and fat Joe. I forgot, but the videos, the video is amazing, but it, it's old. Um, and then uh, I was in New York and I did a music video with the guy from 50 Cent. What was the name of that group with the 50 Cents? And and um, the girl was in it. Olivia was in it. I was like, they're not going to show me. I looked. The motherfucking crew hooked me up. I, and that's before social media. I was so pretty on that video. It was stupid. I had bought, because, uh, you know, South Beach, if you shop on South Beach, you're going to have the most 
beautiful pieces in the whole world. No one is going to look better than you at a event ever, 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 ever. If you shop at the boutiques on South Beach, I said boutiques. Okay. Can you hear me clearly? I didn't say the, uh, I didn't say go to the, um, I didn't say go to one of these fashion places. I didn't say go to, I'm not talking about, uh, what is fashion called? I'm not talking about go to a designer store. I'm talking about the boutiques. Uh, specifically, there is one right next to Wet Willies. I don't know if it's called Wet Willies. And I used to shop there because I had a friend that had the cunny, the cunnies. And so I would be gifted to go to these shops and baby... When I tell you my pieces were piecing, so to this day, I have a few pieces still from those boutiques, but I had to give away a few because I totally outgrew them because I was, what, 80 pounds lighter um, back then. And uh, I gifted a few pieces because they were just so amazing. They are statement pieces that just needed to keep going. They need to keep living. So if you ever, ever come to Miami, go to South Beach, go to those boutiques, and you have got to believe what I'm saying. So have at least 200, 280, 500, 800, 600, 900, 2,000, 80,000. Have some money with you because you're going to want to shop. And you just got to trust me. And the heels there are exclusive. Exclu you're not going to see your heels somewhere else. Okay. All right. So I had a army fatigue piece from one of those boutiques, baby. I was so put together and my hair color was number 30. And you guys saw that if you watched my last vlog, my hair was like 30 ish reddish. And you see how number 30 looks on me. Number 30, don't play with me or you. It has you coming back. This black hair is my Cherokee Indian side of me. And that's cool. I look like an Indian. But that number 30 makes you come back. You be like, you know what? I miss her. All right. I need to see her again. So um, I actually love number 30. And I can't wait to come in front of the camera again with that number 30 color and or ginger, you can call it. But my hair was ginger. And I had that on that fatigue piece and fatigue heels. Oh my God. Oh my God. You know what I mean? So it was crazy. And when I used to model, I used to put pieces in my hair. So my hair just would be like a queen, like a, like a, um, a pageant girl. So Social media wasn't going on back then. I didn't have a camera on me, so I cannot show you what I used to look like. But I do have a magazine for that look. I'm telling you the look. I have the magazine here. I just, I didn't know I was going to talk about this. I will show you if you want to one day on a live stream. Just remind me about my past. I did a spread with Clinton Portis for Black Men's Magazine. I used to do Black Men's Magazine all the time. Not sometime, all the time. And sometimes you remember me, sometimes you don't. I did one cover and it was called, um, I forgot, because I was on the cover with somebody who really, I found out later, she was like, why is she on the cover with me? And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> she said, what? So anywho, that could be he say, see, he say, she say, it could be that. You never know. Maybe they wanted to start some drama and they just lied to me, but I could not believe that Someone who was a, like, she was like a model. She wasn't a supermodel, but she was well-known or more well-known than I was in the industry, but not for music videos. I was a music video model. And so she shade so-called, I don't know if this is true. This is just what they told me because they were kind of holding on the cover because they were like, she was like, why is she on the cover with me? <gasps> oh! Okay, good, good. Where are you? Where are you right now? Okay, I just wanted to know. Where are you? Because I haven't seen you on the runways. Where are you right now? Oh, okay, because I'm still doing movies. Where are you? I just wanted to know, boo. No shade, no tea. But if you did say that, you know, thank you. Because you actually made yourself look a little bit different to those people. If they actually thought that you were cool, 
they didn't think so after you made that statement because I am a nice, good person through and through. So if you ever meet me, I'm not saying that um, that everybody knows that, but if we ever have the pleasure of working together, I'm actually a really cool person. And so to say that about somebody that they actually liked, um, that's not a good reflection on you. That's crazy. It was so bad that they told me. That's how much they didn't like that statement. Because wait a minute, are we both brown? Because the cover was only about dark skinned women. <laughs> like, what you talking about? Like, I thought that that was the assignment. Like, what are we doing right now? I thought that was it. I'm going to be so livid after this live because of something else. But I thought that that was the assignment just representing chocolate women. It may be called chocolate. I'm not sure. Oh, platinum. I think it's called platinum. Or, or I'm in the Platinum Magazine, and that was the most beautiful spread ever in life because I got to meet, if you're a Playboy guy, if you know about Playboy, then you know this, uh, this model. Her name is Nefertiti, and she is the most graceful, most beautiful. She looks the way she is, and that is a pleasure. When you see somebody, because normally when people see me, look, if you see me out in public, you're not going to be like, oh, my God, she's so fun and flirty. But luckily, there is a channel that I have, so you get to see my character. But she looks the way she is. She's just so stunning in person. She still is stunning to this day. This girl looks the same. And, um, and that's because she's so beautifully, she's so nice. So anywho, I didn't know what I was getting myself to, into. I never did Black Men's Magazine in my life. And this was my first photo shoot ever editorial ever and god is so good he had me on the set with her and sincerely ward and i don't know if sincerely ward was on that set but i know nefertiti was on that set i think sincerely ward was on that set i'm just not for certain but guys to be in the presence of a person who knows how to pose is the best thing that can happen for you do you know Nefertiti has like hands? Her hands are so soft. They look like her face. Like they're just so soft and beautiful. And that's hard to come by. I'm not even playing with you. If you want a girl, if you're expecting girl children, please pay attention to the traits of the woman. If you want, if you know you want girls, make sure that she has very delicate, beautiful features because bitch, all this shit goes. It keep going. Okay. So most people that are with me, they want boys, which is fantastic. I want to have all the boys you want. Blah, 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 blah. Right. So my big features are amazing for men. And I found that out in college because a guy was just honest. He was like, I want a whole bunch of boys with you, you know? And I'm like, why? He's like, because you got good hands, good feet. And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> what? So he blew my mind. So anyways, I wouldn't have known that. You know what I mean? So anywho, the beautiful thing is people look to me to have children. That's the beautiful thing. Um, but her hands were just the most beautiful hands that a woman could have. And she would just pose just like, and she had her real hair like me at the time of the shoot. And so we were like, she would just be like, I just couldn't explain it. So her, her chin was like mine. She had, a, she had a prevalent chin and then she would just pose just, I'm like, oh my God, guys. And, and she was long. So when she would like stretch her legs out, <gasps> It's like the, the heavens start singing. So she would, her legs would be like this. I'm talking legs now. These are legs. And I'm like, bitch, I can't even. I'm so happy that it wasn't a set that was congested. It was me and her and the photographers and this spect the, the most immaculate mansion I've ever been in my life. And because that was my first photo shoot ever and first editorial ever in life, and if you go and get, you have to find it. It's in the archive. It's Black Men's Magazine. It's called Platinum. You will see I look the same. My face, my, my head may be a little bit bigger because I work out my face a lot. Um, and just stay tuned for that video so I can show you some, some exercises for your face. But my face and my hair look the same. And of course, my complexion. I'm just, uh, I didn't have my implant, my breast implants. I just was smaller, okay? But luckily, my face looks the exact same. Um, guys, um, so anyways, look for the archive. You have to, this is the most beautiful spread in the whole world. This magazine 
to me, was the best magazine they ever put out in their life. And Nefertiti, and I think Sincerely Ward, and another girl on the cover in there. Sincerely Ward is another very prominent, very prevalent. Um, I, I don't want to just say video vixen because she's in movies. She's in. She's just everywhere. And she is beautiful in person as well. And so to meet these beautiful, tall, just amazing, I just was blown. I, that's how blessed I am, right? Because I can say I actually know these people. Um, so anywho, so, so Nefertiti did her shoot. And luckily this set was just her and I and this the most beautiful mansion in the whole world. So what I want to say about this mansion is I wonder why I love the W Hotel in Brickle because I've been to WLU other places that I don't, they're not like the one in Brickle. The one in Brickle is like masculine, architect, dark greens, marble, gold, black. And you know what? That was the decor of my first editorial photo shoot. The decor was very masculine, gold statues, Gotham, Gothic. Oh, I even think the toilet bowl was gold. And so I don't know who owned that mansion. If you ever see this video, please give me a call so I can do another photo shoot with Michael Blackson, with everybody that was on that set. God, please. Got. I need Michael Blackson and Black Men's Magazine to do another spread for all of their women. Nicole Rika, Melissa Ford, myself, Sincerely Ward, uh, Nefertiti, um, Esther Baxter, all of us who used to be on all of the Spanish women, uh, Valor Galore, Gala Gala, Gulu Gulu, all the girls, right? I just don't remember their names, guys. They need to do another spread bringing us all back to show us now. <gasps> Oh, Jesus. Guys, I just did a photo shoot for my Patreon account. I just can't believe how the working out is just manifesting everything I ever wanted for my body. I just, sometimes you have to look at a picture and say, oh, because I'm blown. I'm blown. If you're on my Patreon account, I am posting maybe one picture today, but I definitely know I'm posting the photos tomorrow for WCW. It is C H A N Y A T H E B O D Y dot com. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And I cannot show YouTube this spread at all because it is so buttery. It is so tasty. It is so delectable. It is so delicious. It is so chocolate. It is so ebony. It is so caramel. It is so pink. It is so Victoria. It is so Victoria's Secret. It is so amazing. And I channel my inner Nefertiti. So if she ever, ever watches one of my videos, girl, you inspire this. She's the only, her, and I sincerely Ward inspired me as far as um, just being, we'll be on set and she'll be very like hands-on, like, Hey guys, y'all ready? Like, and that to me, without me realizing it was very awesome to see instead of the models that I was always around where we're on set, we're just quiet and we're just waiting and we're quiet and we're in our phones or we're just, we're just quiet. Bullshit. Like show up, talk, talk to the people on set, say hello. I just spoke to the actor in the movie I was in uh, last two weeks ago because I'm not going to be sitting here on set and I I'm in the presence of you and I don't have the galls to say hello. Goodbye. So anywho, I actually, if you ever see me and you want to say hello, please be respectful for when my kids do not come up to me. If you ever see this video, I'm not being rude. It's just that I'm very, very, very funny with them because it's, it's one me and them like you know what you you know what i'm gonna do so but if, if you see me in person and I'm, I'm with another adult or something like that do not hesitate to say hello okay it's just that with the kids like you know anywho um Life is okay. Life is actually what you make it, and that's just the weirdest thing. You 
actually have to realize that that statement is so real. Life is what you make it. So if I want to be bitter and I want to be nasty and I want to be envious and jealous, that's exactly what life is going to be. But if I'm like, if I start looking at people and instead of being jealous and envious and I'm like, oh my gosh, I really want to, I would love to, to, to look younger. I would love to age gracefully. I would love to be in movies. I would love to, I would love to do whatever she's doing. Then just start calming your spirit, calm it down so that you can receive your blessings. Because I was in the presence of these beautiful, tall, statuesque, lean, very feminine, very stunning women. And do you know why we're friends or we are associates today, or I could respectfully hug them in person? Because they didn't meet me and I was bitter or angry or jealous. I was with Melissa Ford, for God's sake, hung out with her on South Beach, there's no jealous bone in me. I want to learn. I want to, this is amazing. We're hanging out right now. And it was a different vibe with her than it was with them. So it was just, you have to be willing to receive greatness. And so if you actually have a spirit of, of envy or jealousy, you will not receive your, You will not receive what could have been coming to you. So what came to me was, they are able to be themselves. We got to speak. It's just a comfortable setting. And now nobody minds seeing you again. You know what I mean? Nobody minds seeing you again. Nobody's going to say, oh, I don't want to work with her. Nobody's going to say that because you were calm and collected. And then on top of that, people could be themselves around you. Do you get what I'm saying? That's so important. People want to be themselves. They want to be comfortable. So anywho, um, I'm going to put on my lip and then I don't, I don't want to put on the shadow on the, uh, false lashes because this is supposed to be a natural beauty. I do want to show you the last thing for your hair and then I'm going to wrap it up. How long have I been here? Good. This is an hour video. I needed it to be an hour. I need you guys to watch the ads. I need you guys to respectfully uh, click the link in the description to follow me on all the other handles. Uh, if you are 18 and over, please do not hesitate to join C-H-A-N-Y-A-T-H-E-B-O-D-Y. It is a fee and the fee is a fee because you get to see archive videos. You know what I mean? You get to be on there when I'm not on there. So um, just don't hesitate because it's fun. I just did a cooking video with them. It's fine. Well, my hair was all pretty. Right now, my hair has fallen apart, and that's why I can do this video. And that's why I don't care that I'm about to work out and sweat it all out. There will be no hairstyle after today's workout. And I deserve today's workout because the truth of the matter is, if I do what I'm supposed to do, I lead you guys in the right direction of anti-aging, and, um, and I'm very positive in my life. I deserve to work out, right? That's what I deserve. I deserve to continually look great for myself, not for standards, not for the norm. Because by standard, we're supposed to be really thin, right? By standard. But I promise you, baby, if you see me, you're not forget. You know, forget this guy. Okay? You know, forget this guy. You say, who this guy did? Okay? So last thing for the hair, because this is a beauty video. Okay? is men and women, you want to, it's the same thing we're going to talk about. I was talking to you about aloe. We're going back to the aloe, okay? Aloe is so inexpensive that I don't want to hear your mouth, okay? I don't want to hear your mouth. So what you do is you put it on your scalp. You part your hair. And for men, if you are balding and you don't want to bald, please do not not do this. For women, you're worried about your edumas. Put this on your skin now. I am so sorry, but I don't know what happened with that pandemic, but everybody hair fell out. Everybody. I don't care if you if you see somebody with a whole bunch of hair, they had more hair. They had more hair. Okay. I don't know what happened with the pandemic. I don't know if the air was sour. 
But something happened where everybody in the whole world, if they're honest, because some people be lying, lions, lanas, and they're not going to be honest with you. They're not going to say, yeah, my hair is so much thinner than it was before. They're going to be like, oh, no, you know, with the plugs hanging out in the front. So anyways, take your aloe, right? It's whatever piece you make for yourself, just make sure it is gelatinous because that's what's going on your scalp because we are combating hair loss. Guys, I cannot afford to lose no more hair. I cannot. She cannot. Okay? I can't. And aloe has no smell at all. You're not going to stink. You're not going to be rank. This is for any complected person. Okay? Remember I was telling you that I just was on set and people that were not my complexion, I felt like they looked a little bit older. Okay, I told you guys, please try this aloe on your skin. Now you're putting it on your hair because I don't care what color you are. Nobody likes their hair to start thinning out. Nobody. Nobody who can love you like me. Who can give you what you need. Okay, so period. And just rub that sucker ants. Rub that suck of ants, okay? Don't get silly now. Don't start getting lazy. Get a mirror. And all my men out there, I gave you guys this tip. If you're a Patreon member, I gave you this tip. What day was that we were live? I gave you this tip two days ago. So you guys are two days ahead of social media, okay? You guys are two days ahead of YouTube. So your hair and your scalp should already be succulent and trying to grow more hair. OK, my Patreon members are always going to come first because when all else fails, we have Patreon. OK. And that's on period. Uh, period. Uh. All right. I only have one more piece and then I'm going to do all around my edges. Right. So I'm just going to make sure this is succulents. Ooh, yes. I like when I feel it on my scalp. When I get to the back, I'm really not feeling it, which means I probably need to have somebody do it for me. Ooh, that's what she said. So anywho, I'm so happy you guys watched this video in its entirety. Oh, yeah, let's get them edges. Get them images. Ooh, look at that. They're like jets. Get them images, girl. Get them images. Yes, I make up words because I'm really good at English. And so when you're really good at a certain language, you can start making up words. I promise. You can look that up. People like me now, can we have the authority to start making up words. <laughs> if you went to FAU and you took English, you're able to now... With your, with your uh, degree, you're able to now make up words, and I take that seriously. I'm so silly. So yes, 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 yes. So yes, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but one thing we do know is that we don't want no rinkas. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot where I was. I forgot where I was, girl. Okay. Which side is better? Because I got to take a picture for you guys. Hold on. Okay, this side. Okay, this side. This side is better. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, and I got a free little, oh, uh, amen. I got a free, um, like, a, it almost looks like gel. Look at it. Ooh, listen. Pay my attention. Okay, so. With my dark tresses, I came in front of you guys and I displayed what you have to put in your body for you to be successful. I'm not saying that these fruits are the end all be all. I'm just discussing fruits in general. If you actually have a problem with hydration and dry skin, fruits are actually a great way to combat that. Also, I discuss what you put on your skin that is actually free, which is aloe, and that helps combat uh, crow's feet, any lines, any indentions on your face. I suffer from severe allergies, so I am always going to have indentations under my eye, 
and discoloration due to me blowing my nose on a constant basis. But being that that is my situation, understand that that is why what I'm saying actually is very important because imagine that's not your situation and how beautiful and glowy your skin will be. So aloe not only works on your skin, but it also works in your hair. If you're looking to grow your hair, if you're a man, especially in your balding, do the scalp treatment that I just showed you. It doesn't take much to do. Get out of your shower while your scalp is still open, your pores are still open, and just keep the aloe in your bathroom so that you can run it across your scalp. And if you don't want to grow any hair and you're balding, just make sure that it also works for your beard area and take time to do these regimens because these are free. Aloe plants can actually grow outside of your home if not already. And then all of the skincare regimes from Lancome and Olay Complete and uh, I think that was it. I think, and then of course I use the rose water. All of these are linked in my description or uh, are linked in my Amazon storefront. So you can get a better price for the item. And then secondly, uh, you will be helping me out with just probably some dollars and cents, but nonetheless, when Amazon sees that you support your Amazon influencer, it just helps me out in general. Um, I just didn't want you guys to think that the commission was better than the shop link on YouTube. When you shop on my YouTube link, it is a way better commission. So whenever you see a video and you see the word shop, do not hesitate to scroll through it because sometimes you'll be surprised uh, because it will be things that have to do with what you saw in that video. I do try to make sense out of my shop link. Uh, for the makeup that I use today, I do feel that MAC was the most prevalent uh, item that I use today, and that is because it's been on the market for the longest, and you can trust anything with longevity, just like my career. My career has been very long. My mom had me in pageants as a young girl, and then I went on to become a model, and uh, my resume is pretty expansive. And so check out your girl in um, Beach Bum on Netflix, and you'll see me. I am one of the topless models uh, on the yacht, and that's because why? I told you guys I work really hard at everything about me, and that took a long time to arrive to. I had to stop bad habits and um, and take my life more seriously because I do want to leave something for my children, okay? So um, stay tuned. We're, we have more influencing coming. And then on that note, I just want you guys to stay healthy, stay strong, take care of yourself, stay prayed up. Remember that your prayers are always heard. Uh, these beaky brushes are also in my Amazon link now that I'm looking at it. If you're looking for a big tooth comb, I will put it on my Amazon link just in case you're a woman and you were watching this video. Uh, but for my men, please do not hesitate to shop all those Lancome products and just lather your face up every day because men, you guys get, you guys also wrinkle on your neck as well. You wrinkle by the ear. Just pay attention because I just want you to know that you can combat all of that and never, ever, ever think it's too late. OK, if you are a smoker and you actually took your skin too far, understand that you can regress that. Right. Just like people that that uh, beat cancer, people that beat a lot of things, they actually just make their body stronger and, and their bodies just get with it. So uh, I love you and I'll see you on the next video. Take care of yourself. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment in the description area. The most important part of the video or what you learn from me. Uh, somebody from Lovejoy said, what are you doing? I'm doing beauty. Hi. Hi, Lovejoy. Um, and so that was the end of the comments on this live stream. Do not forget, they do not show the comments when this live goes up. So please just take a little bit of time to comment on the video when the video goes up. I don't know why it doesn't go to, even the views, it doesn't go to the video. People have to rewatch it and re-comment. And I guess that's just typical engagement. And therefore, that's how I met my new subscribers. And stay tuned because we have um, a mukbang that we're going to do, I think, this week or next week. And then, of course, I have some vlogs that are going up and my stories and my reels just are pretty consistent. So today's story will be about cryotherapy. And then my next upload will be Asha's birthday because her hair was all natural and stunning. I just want to uplift kids. And, uh, and then we just have more vlogs every single week coming out. Uh, they're, they're on back order. Okay. And then uh, I can't wait to do 
the the food and I can't wait to do something else I want to do with you guys. So remember that you could do anything you set your mind to, especially if it's positive. And, uh, and don't forget that being mean and negative actually creates wrinkles. <laughs> oh, let me show you guys. I think I said I was going to stand up. What did I say that? I just have to because my fans love it. Okay. So let me see. Make sure this is good. Because I think the thumbnail shows the whole dress, right? I think the thumbnail shows the whole dress. So your girl has been working out on the body. Look, this won't even stay together because I'm so so much smaller. Yeah. So the fitness videos are important. We have another video being edited now. Um, and that video is going to be a meditational yoga transition. I realized that doing so much yoga has like calmed me down. Um, and it is so good for your, for your heart. All right. So anytime anyone has a problem with anger or any issues with just their heart rate goes up or they have hypertension and or could be at risk of high blood pressure, please understand that the yoga video that I have coming out either next week or this week is, is geared towards that. So I could have high blood pressure and sometimes I do get headaches. So practicing yoga just makes everything equal again. And that hero workout was the, uh, the best workouts that I did to lose my weight. And it helped the most with my toning. So thank you so much for supporting that hero workout video. I will continue doing my live streams with fitness, but not this week because this week was geared to staying beautiful and, uh, and for men staying and maintaining being handsome. Mwah. I don't know how to end it. It says end. Oh, there it is. <laughs>